You think he's going to be in the trade block next? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I think he's probably been on the trade blocks. I just don't think they can find any, any takers. So, um, you know, I, I hate to be the one to, to say this, but, you know, um, he's been a bust for, for them. Mm. And, um, you know, it's very obvious now that, you know, he's not the player that they drafted. And they realize that. And I'm sure that they're not finding any, any takers for him. So I, I do think that this is the last of this young man that we will see probably in a Sixers uniform. But... I don't know whether they're going to have to eat this contract or, or what, but right now his, his future just doesn't look good for him. I mean, to be the top pick in the draft and just, just not able to bring anything, no value to the game at all. I feel sorry for the young man, to be honest. Yeah, in the words of J. Cole, I pray for Markel, they messed up your shot. Um, <laughs> but the, the, the thing about him is finding out that it was a physical problem, or we hope that this was the cause. I think it gives you a little hope that he can develop into something. If you're the Sixers right now, you can't trade him. Because if you trade him, his value is at its absolute lowest. Yeah. So you might as well hold on to him and hope he comes around and hope this was the issue. And then he's gravy on top of what you, the stake that you already have with the big three. But to trade him or to look to kind of part ways, I don't think that's the move right now. I mean, it just, to me, it just depends on what you can get with him. I never like to say trade or don't trade in a vacuum. Yeah. What, but, what are you giving me? They the, need the value, shooting right now. But right now, the value is at its absolute lowest. If, if, the, if I can get for him something I need, then, that, then his value isn't so low. Mm. Like, if his value is he brings me in something I need, great. If he doesn't, if you're right, Scotty, no one's making an offer, uh, I don't, then obviously I, you don't want to get I rid of him for nothing just to get rid of him. him. You've, you've watched him for the last year or so and you he don't have any value you mm -hmm. you you can't even show good video on this kid right, right. now so you, you don't have any selling points i mean it's gonna be tough in his contract by the way yes it's a rookie deal but because of the number, he was one, the number overall. one overall pick he's oh, uh, you, you, you can correct me is it 12 million it's around a, 10 or 12 it, million it, it, that he's supposed million to make next year yes. that's a that's a chunk when you're doing your calculations so that's another thing about teams maybe possibly taking him on if you're like quote taking a flyer on markel fultz you have to also be taking a flyer on that salary and that's i think going to be an obstacle as well